Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs. I like that kind of impotent mom's knife fire there. I like that. Anyway, this is a challenge run suggested by YouTube user The Fine Brofist. I'm not sure if that's a reference to the Fine Brothers or what, but anyway, Fine Brofist suggested a run called the Bad Cat. Basically, you start with four hearts, so I started with Maggie here just to make that easy enough. Uh, Guppy's Paw and Mom's Knife. Now, there's only you can only use Guppy's Paw once, was the way that I understood this run. So you have to choose when to use Guppy's Paw. You could use it at the start. And of course, turn all of your red arts into spirit arts right away and try to roll on those. Or you can use Guppy's Paw a little bit later. Now, of course, we're starting with some fairly overpowered items here. Guppy's Paw, Mom's Knife, I mean, that's basically it, but we start with a decent amount of health as well. So the compensation for this run is that we are not allowed to do item rooms, very similar to the uh, Guppy's Tail run from last time. But beyond that, we are, we are able to use shops, we are able to get items from boss rooms, and we're going to try to get as many HP upgrades as possible. And try to figure out when using Guppy's Paw is going to be the smartest. And it might not be when you think, you might be thinking Northern Line, why not just use Guppy's Paw, uh, like, immediately, basically, uh, when you finish, like, when you don't get any more HP upgrades, which would be after the first ma uh, first fight in the womb. I I'd probably explain that very terribly. Let me rephrase this here. Northern Line, why not just use Guppy's Paw when you uh, finish the womb part one, because that's your last possible chance to get an HP upgrade besides Eternal Hearts, which are pretty rare. Uh, the reason for that is, what if I want to do a deal with the devil to get, like, Spirit of the Night or something on, maybe even the Cellar Part 2? Then I might want to use Guppy's Paw, like, before that situation, just so that I don't end up screwing myself on health. I don't know, man. I'm gonna just try to do my best here with what we've got. The condition to only be able to use Guppy's Paw once is very interesting. I kind of like it. I like the fact that we have two extra Spirit Hearts to go along with it so far. I don't know if I necessarily like this pill. Hey, at least it didn't do me dirty this time. We get the devil. We get item room, which we can't go into, so I'm not going to waste a key, because we can't really afford to. I think this run is going to be fairly balanced. It's going to be one of those situations where I'm not going to be totally sure. It, it might even seem a little overpowered to me right now, so it probably seems very overpowered to you, especially since the commenters overall have a huge disdain for Mom's Knife. But in, in spite of the commenters largely having disdain for Mom's Knife, it's one of the most commonly suggested items for runs. So what can I say? There's, there's a little bit of, you know, bipolarness even amongst the, the commenters. And I, I appreciate that. I mean, I, I realize there's a lot of people watching these videos. There's a lot of, you know, dissenting or just different opinions on a number of issues. However, I like Mom's Knife, so I'm going to use it now and then, of course. That was terrible damage for me to take there. Seriously, this guy is the greatest Dodger of all time. We all know the greatest Dodger of all time is Babe Ruth, by the way. I know nothing about baseball, except for the fact that the Toronto Blue Jays have not won the World Series in a long time. Not made the playoffs in a long time. I mean, that's what happens when you're in a division with the Yankees, Orioles, Devil Rays. Yankees, Orioles, Devil Rays, and Red Sox. Anyway, we're going to get one cube of meat here, which is pretty much garbage. But, hey, you know, a little extra protection never hurt anybody. Here's the thing that I was trying to get at. If we get a deal with the Devil opportunity here, which we might. We didn't get hit on the boss room. We do. Uh, we're going to first take the cube of meat. Then we're going to go up here and see what does this guy have for us. Nothing that I really want, actually. So that's good news for us. I'm not going to use any of my HP upgrades to pay for that. I'm instead going to head down here. That That's the compensation, I guess, is that we can take deals with the devil. But every deal with the devil costs us, at the very least, three spirit hearts. Potentially six spirit hearts in lost, like, opportunity cost from Guppy's Paw. So that's actually pretty valuable. Uh, you know, would I trade six spirit hearts for many deal with the devil items no so this could potentially act as like a counterbalance to keep us from becoming super overpowered but i thought you know especially since the last run ended up being so underpowered why not take a run that at least on the surface seems like it could be overpowered uh if anything anyway we're gonna blow this up i don't really want that money we're gonna take the spirit heart of course uh yeah the money doesn't really appeal to me i mean it appeals to me but not to the cost of a bomb basically i could use that bomb to find the secret room potentially which would be much more valuable uh, I would love to go to the shop, but really we haven't had too many options. Obviously, it would be vastly outside of the spirit of this challenge run if I was to give up Guppy's Paw for, like, the candle or something this early. But I guess after I use Guppy's Paw, that could be another opportunity for me to use Guppy's Paw. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Earlier is if I uh, find a better item in the shop, I could use Guppy's Paw and then maybe pick up something like the blue candle in the shop. Who knows? I'm just theorizing because... This run might not be as simple as it seems. Of course, it might be ex exactly as simple as it seems. I hate this room. Because the thing with Mom's Knife is that I'm going to have to eat some shots here, I think. You can't really fire diagonally with Mom's Knife. 
Because it just travels in like a straight line. Alright, we ended up getting fairly lucky there. I only lost half a spirit heart. That's okay. We got our boss room. Might as well go through that as soon as possible, I guess. Because these bosses are going to be very easy, and hopefully we pick up some HP upgrades as a result of our actions here. I hate this boss with Mom's Knife. Because there's a fairly huge chance that we are going to end up hurting ourselves. Given the fact that our range is not fantastic right now. I'm not even sure how range affects Mom's Knife. A lot of people ask the question, Northern Lion, you're 300 episodes in, how could you not know a simple fact like range affects Mom's Knife? Well, the simple answer to that question is that, you know what happens every time I stop recording a video? I don't go look it up on the wiki, I go into the editing room. Start rendering this video. Ah, tears upgrade and a tarot card. I, st I start rendering the video so that I can upload it in the near future. Like, I, I got work to do here, man. Can't be checking the wiki at the office or the boss is gonna get pissed. Actually, somewhat ironically, I guess it would be the exact opposite. My boss would be thrilled, because my boss is basically the commenters. I was gonna say commentators. And now I am hungry for fried potatoes. It's Thanksgiving in the United States this weekend, as I'm recording this. Unfortunately, I don't live in the United States, so, you know, it's gonna be at least until Easter until I get some more turkey in my belly. And oh no, I totally forgot about Christmas. I don't know why, this is, um, my second Christmas back in Canada since being in, oh, we gotta deal with the angel. That's potentially awesome. We'll take the range upgrade. Anyway, long story short, I'm excited for turkey. And we got Holy Grail. Wow, that is an awesome item. Certainly going to compensate us. Uh, we should probably do some more, not backtracking, but like forward exploring here in order to explore. So now we can fly. Uh, we got also got an extra HP upgrade there. I'm thinking that after I beat Mom is probably my best opportunity to use the Guppy's Paw in this situation. Because then I'll give myself permanent, oh, well, not permanent, but constant, near constant anyway, uh, invincibility by way of that Polaroid. And we basically have the greatest item combinations of all time. I don't know if the fo the fine brofist foresaw this coming, but hey, some it's not necessarily a, an overpowered suggestion for a run. It might just be that we got lucky this time. By the way, some people are going to be like, Northern Lion, why would you pick a mom's knife run? I didn't, baby. You just told me. This was the top comment on uh, the last video that I uploaded. I forget which one it was, but uh, it was 336 or 335. I can't remember. Maybe the Lindsay Lohan run. That one might have been 332. Anyway, all the numbers are blurring together in my head, as you might expect, after such a long series. All I'm saying is, you're just shooting the messenger if, you, if you're mad at me for picking this run. This is a top comment on one of the suggested videos. If you don't like the runs like this, I'm sorry. Stop voting for them. Again, I'm, I realize I'm speaking to a, a fairly large audience of diverse interests here, but uh, you get what I'm saying here. My hands are tied to a certain extent. I don't even think I saw that super red challenge guy or champion guy. Oh well. I seriously can't believe that we're amassing so little money in so much time. Now we are up to, uh, once I use Guppy's Paw, let's ignore the spirit heart that I have there for now. Uh, once I use Guppy's Paw, I'll have at least 18 Spirit Hearts, which is really good. And we could, once you get one deal with the Angel Room, you tend to get more. So it's always possible, maybe we pick up something like the Miter, which would be unbelievably useful. Hook me up here, my friend. Thank you. And then we're going to do it like this as well. This is so much easier than the way I was doing it before. We've got a pill. HP upgrade would be incredibly valuable. Worth the risk for potentially getting an HP downgrade. Tears down. Not a huge problem. Again, we are still only at two cents. Do I have a reasonable amount of bombs required to look for the secret room? Not really. Five bombs is not a whole lot. I don't really need the bombs for anything else, so, I mean, there is that, but at the same time, I could use those for tinted rocks in the future, and bombs have been kind of in short supply, although now that I can fly, bombs should be a little bit more free-flowing. And I almost broke into some Tom Petty there, but I resisted the urge. What's the, what's the critical consensus on Tom Petty these days? Is he still considered like a classic rock artist? Like, not, I never realized he's classic rock, but classic rock artist along the same lines as like a, a Springsteen or something, the same critical reception. Cause I was never much of a Tom Petty fan, I always found his songs like a little bit, uh, pandery if you get me. It's always like, super melancholy and, you know, in his own head, but he's got the classic rock vibe to him, so it's, it's got this like hard-ass melancholy to it that I don't really like. Hard-ass melancholy, if I ever open up a bar, that's gonna be the name of a drink. It's just gonna be like a wine cooler 
served in a crystal decanter. Uh, we don't want that. So I think we are basically done exp exploration on this floor. Although, uh, yeah, why not with some of these bombs? At least take a look for the secret room. Get out of there, Maggie! That was so close. I took my hand off the keyboard for a second to, to scratch my neck. Almost got myself killed there. If you like Tom Petty, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't offend you there. If you are Tom Petty, hook me up, dude. We can do a collaboration sometime. Maybe I can help you get some more subscribers on YouTube. You can help me sell some more records. Because right now, Northern Lion Raps the Hits is not doing so hot on the Billboard Hot 200. It's in third place behind Chris Brown and Justin Bieber takes a shit with an onboard laptop microphone to record it. Uh, we got more bombs down here, so we might as well pick that up. The secret room had a slot machine in it, which is awful. But, oh, that's a live bomb, so obviously we don't want anything there. We're probably going to take the Joker card down to the next floor. These cards do not appeal to me so much. And maybe we get deal with the angel, deal with the devil, who knows? Let's pop it right away and see what we get. That is a deal with the angel where we get crown of blood of the martyr, which is damage upgrade. Beautiful. And if we could just stack up these uh, Joker cards, we'd get like constant deals with the angel, which would be awesome as hell. You don't need me to tell you that, obviously. Deals with the angel... Usually, usually, worse items than deal with the devil. However, the compensation is that they are free, so I'll, I'll take those any day of the week. Deals with the devil have a tendency to be more powerful, but also to, uh, you know, cost you health on top of it. On top of that, so we're picking up a number of golden chests here. I'm not sure why there's so many now. Maybe uh, the uh, Holy Grail has a tendency to give us more golden chests. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of golden chests overall, but sometimes they can end up statistically paying off. They didn't in the last run, though. In case you didn't see that, that was, um... What was that called? Nice Chest! <laughs> Great name for a run that ended up being fairly lackluster in terms of my play, at the very least. We now have enough money to go to the shops, so I should maybe... Backtrack a little bit. Who knows? Maybe we get, uh... Again, there is the possibility that I pick up an item that is better than Guppy's Paw. A spacebar item, I should say. So then we just roll on 18 Spirit Arts and try to make it work. In particular, Book of Revelations would probably work well for that. You guys enjoy a, a brief moment of slurpy solitude as I'm going to take a sip of my coffee here. Very nice. So I was at Starbucks yesterday buying this, like, bean bag. That was the worst way to put that. Uh, I don't really want a steam sale, to be honest with you. But in buying it, uh, no, it's not worth it. We're only going to get one more shop anyway. We might as well make the most of it. Uh, even because it, it might be greed anyway. Uh, but I was buying, like, this bag of coffee because we just got a coffee maker. And I like took this bag of whole beans up and I was like, can you guys grind this for me? And she's like, sure. How do you want us to grind it? And I was like, oh, fuck. She's figured me out. I've never bought coffee before. And I was like, uh, we have a coffee maker. And then she looked at me like I was retarded and I looked at her like I didn't know what to do. And then the manager came over and was like, do you have a cone filter or a basket filter? And I was like, oh, well, it doesn't look like a cone. And then she's like, I'll tell you what, we'll handle that for you. And it was very nice of her. Also, bags of coffee are expensive. Maybe because I bought it at Starbucks, though. I don't know where else to buy coffee! Don't hate on me here. Plus, what can I say? Pike Place? That's a good roast, man. It is a quality... medium roast. Anyway. This is not Northern Lions Coffee Hour. My palate is far... far unsophisticated. Or too unsophisticated, I should say. Uh, in order for me to do something like that. But what I could do is Northern Lion's Binding of Isaac Hour. Oh, wait! I've already done about 270 of those. All right. Zombies. Now's not the time. Thanks for reminding me that Zombie U is still not here, you dingoes. These guys... I don't, why did I ever call these guys zombies? I guess because they walk in, like, a very straight manner. Not on, like, a shambling zombie. And I think their brains are exposed, which made me think, like, Hey, zombies eat brains. Brains, zombies. These guys are zombies. We are going to get a second cube of meat. Is that a huge deal for us right now? Absolutely not. However, you know, it doesn't hurt. We can't just hang out over this rock. So we'll do a little extra damage. We got another deal with the angel. I think this is the one we started with, though. So we shouldn't really... Yeah, this should be empty. And it is. Down to the next floor. And I'm hoping to pick up some more HP upgrades on this floor. Because Guppy's Paw is probably going to get used as soon as we finish our mom fight. So hopefully this shop, I've got a few desires for this floor. This shop has no greed in it and has a good item. I use Guppy's Paw. We pick up that good item. Or if it's the compass, I can just pick it up. If it's a, if it's a passive, of course, I can just hang on to it. No need to get rid of Guppy's Paw just yet. Uh, we fight mom. 
Maybe we get some Eternal Hearts or something on the way. Mom fight goes well, which I, I can't anticipate that it would go poorly given our current situation here. Uh, and I should probably start saving some keys for the chest, huh? Provided we get there, because, I mean, Mom's Knife flying and 18 Spirit Hearts is a recipe for being able to get pretty far in this game. Most of the time. Unless I make some truly hideous mistakes. And the Angel Fetuses are almost dead. It sounds like it could be like a... Tom Waits song or something. Yeah, the angel fetuses are almost dead. I'm... Tom Waits' impression's not going anywhere. But the Bane impression, man. That's gonna get me noticed by Hollywood. Maybe I can play Bane in The Dark Knight Rises too. Don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I think Batman might win in that movie. Uh, we're gonna continue onwards here. These leapers are going to be pains in the dick, and they're going to hit me a lot, actually. We've lost that spirit heart we picked up a little earlier. And I am down to all red hearts. But that's okay, considering I have so many red hearts. It's not the end of the world. We're going to keep this up. These guys are going to get killed. I feel a little weird jamming mom's knife into these vaginal-looking creatures. But hey, extra spirit heart, which is great because it saves me from going on whatever awful tangent that was going to be. Had a feeling... But tonight was going to be a bad night. Has anyone ever analyzed the deeper meaning in God? I've Got a Feeling, or I Got a Feeling, by uh, Black Eyed Peas? I think there's some deeper symbolism there that people aren't noticing. Like, you know how when they're listing the days, they go like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. They're saying Saturday twice. A lot of people think, hey, maybe they just love to party. Like, two Saturdays? Who wouldn't like that? I think... The Black Eyed Peas are actually honoring the, the Sabbath of Judaism, and that's a nod to that. They're saying, like, hey, I, my faith is so strong that not only do I love getting drunk as hell on kosher sparkling wines, but I observe uh, the Sabbath twice in honor of Judaism. I don't know, I know so little about religion, I was struggling to come up with a, a relatable reference there. Anyway. Fly, you fool! Accidental Lord of the Rings references are the best Lord of the Rings references. And we are going to get back to full health. Presumably, we got a boss fight soon. I still have not been playing very well, let's be honest about that. But the items that I've gotten have been able to carry me through here. I wonder if we will get a third deal with the Angel Room on the Wound Part 1. And I wonder if it will be... Good enough to give us Sacred Heart. I certainly hope so. So this is going to be an easy fight, of course. I anticipate very minor problems here. If any. Greed heads are kind of a pain in the dick, but hey. Yeah, I was worried about that to a certain extent too, but it's all good. These hearts still count for Guppy's paw, of course. And Mom will be getting one more hit, which we have done easily. Okay, so we got the coin purse. Here's the real dilemma. Do we want to use the coin purse... Now, when it could give us health downs? Well, what's this one? Friends till the end. Okay, that's good. What about the white one? We don't know. Luck down. Not a big deal. Tears down. We don't want any of these. So we're going to use the shit out of Guppy's paw. Excellent. Now, reminder. Now we cannot use Guppy's paw for the remainder of this run. So this is going to be enough health, hopefully, to sustain us for the rest of our time here. Mm -hmm. Delicious caffeine, enter my bloodstream so that I can speak. Oh, come on, Isaac. Don't do this to me right now. So that I can speak with a little bit more verbosity and play with a little bit more ferocity. So we're on Womb XL. This is always unfortunate when this happens because it means uh, we have zero chance of getting a deal with the angel. Because the first boss is the only boss that could give it to us. And uh, there's no, basically, space for a deal with the angel to appear. So we've already lost one spirit heart. That's like nearly or a little bit more than five percent of our total health gone so let's just play it cool can't afford to be losing health like that against wrath here who is the easiest boss we could take mr boom i mean it's all <laughs> it's probably preferable for us to take mr boom because we can't use guppy's paw anyway it's like we literally have an empty space bar slot here well not literally but functionally we have an empty space bar slot here so we're gonna take mr boom i don't know what i'm gonna use it for i guess i'll use mr boom to blow shit up Hopefully, oh, that was awful. Hopefully we'll be able to replace Mr. Boom before we get to the, or, 
Yeah, before we get to the chest. We'll almost certainly be able to replace it after the chest. Or on the chest. I always love to do it on the chest. Um, we're just gonna keep it up here. It's kind of a weird intersection of, of goo and explosions that I managed to navigate there. Just looking for the boss room very quickly. I always love the womb when you have mom's knife because it, it makes it so no room is takes forever. Which normally happens because you run across those damn cysts. Uh, how about this pill? Health up! No! Guppy's paw! Well, I should never take another health up and I should never take another HP upgrade either. Because that will ruin my permanent invincibility state. Which would be devastating. Because that's basically my main defensive maneuver right now, or, or strength. Uh, because, you know, beyond that, what defensive strength do I have? Uh, single cube of meat, I guess? Which is not really all that predictive of success, or key to my success. Uh, we will, no, we're not gonna pick up that heart. I should not pick up the hearts, because I don't know if the Polaroid works if you have half of a red, if, if like, a full red heart. I know it works if you have half a red heart. Alright, Judgment, don't give me HP upgrades. Give me compass. That's a bomb. That's cool, too. But I can sit here and play you all day, my friend. More keys, also very worthwhile. I think I've gotten more golden chests on this run than I got on both of my uh, weird, nice chest runs. So obviously we can't take that, I believe. I mean, I could. So I didn't min-max appropriately on this Guppy's Paw situation. I could have used it a little bit later and amassed, uh, well, basically, I guess, like, six more spirit arts, which is not insignificant. That's a substantial number. Six spirit arts could make the difference in this run. I hope that it doesn't, but it could. The other thing that could make the difference is if we get a spirit art generating item. Why couldn't the deal with the angel room just give me the miter instead of blood of the martyr? Although blood of the martyr is okay in its own right as well. I'm sorry, Guppy's Paw. Uh, we don't want that, so we'll just get out of the way. I'm probably gonna pick up half a red heart by accident. It's just impossible for me to keep that in my brain for the rest of the game. And, you know, there's always the chance that, it, like, the red heart will basically just spawn under me and I, I won't have a chance to get out of the way. But I'm gonna do my best to avoid it. Step one is probably not picking up items as soon as they drop because it doesn't give my brain a chance to process it. Where are you going here? There we go. Okay. And we should have our boss room somewhere over on this side. I really thought that was gonna be it. No such luck. But these are easy rooms with a deliberate order. Uh, well, we could just walk into this guy. How about that? That's an easy order. And again, don't stand right in front of the items, you dangus. You're gonna get yourself a red heart. You're gonna get yourself healed. You don't want that, do you? Well, that was awful damage again in my own right. But hey, now we have that extra half red heart. Who knows? That could prove to be uh, decisive. Of course... Oh my god, that was awful. I was really hoping that that was gonna be... Uh, something different. Friends to the end is a good card. Or a good pill. Uh, I was really hoping that that bicycle card was going to be the Joker because at the very least that would teleport us to the boss room. Two of hearts would have been worthless. Two of diamonds is worthless. Two of spades is something I guess. That gives us like double keys, right? Yeah, double keys. Alright, so we're up to 12 keys. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, we can just walk this guy onto the spikes or hit him with mom's knife. Doesn't really matter. We got unlimited keys on this floor which doesn't really pay out for us at this point probably. We got Envy. You guys seen Envy with Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Amy Poehler? Now that is a garbage movie. Basically, Jack Black plays a, plays a slacker, as Jack Black often does. I'm a Jack Black fan, don't get me wrong. But he's playing a very archetypical Jack Black type character. He's a slacker, he works in some kind of like pharmaceutical factory or cheese sandwich factory, I can't remember. Bad trip? Really? Um... Anyway, Ben Stiller's character is, you know, the kind of character that Ben Stiller often plays. He's kind of uptight. That was awful again. Stop taking so much damage here, you dongo. Um, yeah, uptight, you know, kind of annual attentive type character. Jack Black is always thinking up these crazy inventions, and then he gets his scientist friend, and they invent a spray that makes dog poo disappear. Like, you just spray it on the poo, and it disappears. And then Ben Stiller gets really jealous of it, as you might expect. And hilarity ensues as Jack Black amasses a fortune and spends it on the worst things ever. Christopher Walken's in it. I think Ben Stiller tries to pay Christopher Walken to kill Jack Black. It goes, no character in that movie is, is, is nice, but also the movie is just not funny at all. And the movie ends. I'm sorry to New Line Cinema, whoever produced this and distributed it, if I'm spoiling it and losing you guys' sales. Uh, but it turns out that... 
you know, when you spray the poo, it actually just contributes to global warming, and then Jack Black loses his whole fortune. Oh, that's shitty. Anyway. So that's Envy. Can't remember who directed it, but it was basically a career ender for what was previously like a fairly... Is Barry Levinson the guy who... What am I talking about? <laughs> Why am I talking about the movie Envy? Starring Ben Stiller and Jack Black right now. It's really bad. It's not good, but I think it was directed by Barry Levinson. Sometimes you just have those moments of, you know, self-awareness where you're like, wait a minute, have I really been talking about 2002's most disappointing comedy for the past five or six minutes? And the answer is yes to that question. Anyway, so that's Envy. Uh, don't go see it. It's really bad. Hopefully I'll fight Greed next and I can make a reference to Wall Street or something. That movie's alright. Uh, we're gonna just kind of keep it backed up here because I'm worried about these guys hitting me because I've taken a lot of damage on this floor. I mean, we've got Spirit Hearts remaining. That's not an issue. We'll probably get more at some point later and we've, we've gotten through both floors of the womb here technically all at once. Which is great. I somehow took some damage there. Daddy Long Legs is dead. Or oh, that was Triacnid, sorry. Sweet! Pageant boy! That's really useful. Enough money to spend at a shop that does not exist. Finally, Mom's Heart. Okay, so this run is definitely going to be a success against Mom's Heart. Let's just see how much further we can take it. So Mr. Boom's going to go. Fuck you. Just really hoping that it would take out everything there, but hey, you can't always get what you want. You have Mom's Knife available. Basically, Mom's Knife works like a bomb for us. We're just going to save it, use it whenever it spawns enemies. And it should be easy for us to take everything out. It's not quite as easy as Brimstone uh, on this fight anyway, but overall Mom's Knife is a much better item in my opinion anyway. We should have Red Flies now, which means we back off a little bit. Uh, or else that'll happen. And Mom's Heart is dead. We get a deal with the Angel. What do you got for me? Nothing. Yeah, just a trip down to Shoal. Uh, we're gonna go up to the Cathedral here. I think our chances of success against Isaac are pretty high. I think our chances of making it out of the chest are pretty low, but that all depends on what items we actually get in the chest, of course. Did I get hit again? Oh, man. I really can't afford for this to happen, because I'm going to have to brute force Isaac to a certain extent. Okay. Keep it up. This thing should be dead very soon. The worst part of this fight is dealing with this motherfucker right here. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, I almost picked up the red heart there. Again, I'm not sure if that'll have a negative impact, but it's so not worth the risk right now, because that permanent invincibility is what's going to allow us to do crazy damage well invulnerable to these bosses uh, that are inevitably going to hit us. There's almost no way I'm going to dodge every single one. Please, two more spirit hearts. Oh, no. No! That was the worst possible condition that could have happened, except for that chest just exploding and a big middle finger. Uh, let's go right. I got good feelings about right. I think this is the right way. <laughs> Woo! Classic punnery. Worthy of... A real estate firm or something. Oh, that's not good, is it? Kill it! Okay. Tears down. What is up with these pills, man? Where's Balls of Steel? What's, what about this one? We don't know. Balls of Steel. Ah! It was worth a try. Beautiful chain reaction there. It's going to give us more keys and money. But I am concerned about our long-term chances here. It wasn't even worth getting that money for the risk of me getting the heart. But it's okay. Turns out, maybe this run isn't as imbalanced as we thought. So again, don't get the heart, just get the keys. Alright, here's Isaac. I think we're gonna succeed in the Isaac fight. Especially if I don't get hit. There we go. Uh, I think we're gonna succeed in the Isaac fight. I will, it, it all depends on what we get in the chest from this point on. Alright, we're standing right next to him. Before we leave... We're gonna make sure to drop in a, a fat Mr. Boom here, so it'll at least do a little bit more damage. That did like an extra 5% of his total health, which is not insignificant. Adds up. Sadly, we can only use Mr. Boom once per fight. Oh, there we go. Now we're gonna get up right next to him again. Obviously, this is a nice combination. I should have used a bomb there at the end of that one. Oh, we got hit again, which means this will be the end of his life. Now, if we can just get to Blue Baby reasonably quickly... I had to scratch my nose there. I thought the fight was over, but we still have one at- Oh! I can't believe I got hit by him. Alright, down to the chest. Wish me luck here. This is important. Good spacebar items. D20. Maybe. Broken mirror has no impact. Might as well pick it up, I guess. Uh, Spelunker's helmet. 
And Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs is the spacebar item we're. Oh, it's not. It's a passive, right? Well, I guess we're gonna take D20. It has the potential to be better than Mr. Boom. And there's our secret room. That's the reason I thought Spelunker's helmet might be important. Who knows what we get in that secret room, man? Maybe Epic Fetus. That could be big. Is that actually gonna be better for us than Mom's Knife at this point? I don't know. This guy's quick, so I'm just trying to keep my distance a little bit. Now, just keep away. Daddy Long... The problem is, against Blue Baby, Daddy Long Legs only fires once, which is the worst oversight in this game. Or against Isaac, he only fires once, at least. I don't know what happens against Blue Baby. I'm not sure I've ever had Daddy Long... I probably have had Daddy Long Legs against Blue Baby. I just don't remember. I assume it functions the same way. Secret Room was basically worthless for us. Uh, we're not going to reroll that heart just yet, because maybe there is going to be a better room for us to reroll it on. No, no, no! Super Wrath! Now is not the time for you to be the ultimate dick. Well, I guess now is the only time for you to be- Oh, no! Okay. Now we gotta get up in his grill. There, one's dead. One's gotta be close. I, did I get that speed down pill earlier? Is that why I'm a little slow? Or was that last run? I think that was last run. Alright, he did leave one last troll bomb and ended up being his demise. Oh, I should reroll these. Yeah, extra key and extra penny. You jealous? You should be. Will I even make it to Blue Baby? There's a second secret room. Now I'm starting to think. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need to pick up these red hearts. Also, Monstro 2 is gonna end my life. That's gonna be embarrassing. Whoa, those shots came out in a very weird... Whoa, t -t 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 one monster must die. Okay, now we got this. I mean, I guess picking up that those extra hearts doesn't make a difference now. Uh, because one hit will kill us regardless. Hey, infestation! Just in time to be totally useless. I don't know, man. Maybe we get incredibly lucky on this secret room. Matchstick? Yeah, that's pretty lucky. We're gonna be rolling in bombs pretty soon. Um, I don't know what we should do. I just don't want to die to these blue spikes. And we didn't, so I guess I should be thankful for that. Take your bets on what enemy ends up ending our lives here. Will it be Chubb? Possibly. I think I can beat these guys. I've been mistaken before. Oh, no. I've been mistaken before, but uh, I think we can, we can survive this one. Might be those Chubb Nubs, though. By the way, Chubb Nubs. Great name for a snack. Feel free. Host is free to lay if you're interested. Take that name. Three widows. Yes, this will probably be it. A spider's gonna get me. Whoa, never mind. Luckiest. Oh, I thought the third widow died too. Luckiest mom's knife shot though. Killed two bosses in one hit. I don't know. A sacrificial dagger. Okay, we got knives of plenty around us. Oh, that was scary. Okay, we're still going strong here. Well, strong is a strong word, but we're still going here. Just be smart about this. You can't be stopped. I don't know which ones are mine and which ones are Daddy Long Legs. Oh, how could you do this to me? Anyway, thanks for the suggestion, fine bro fist. As always, thank you guys for watching. Continue leaving your suggestions for challenge runs. I take a look at the the top comments at the very least. Deem the ones or do the ones I deem most appropriate. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.